Good morning. Thanks for joining me at Coffee with Corey. You'll notice that I'm back at Tavern 88. The trip to Florida that I referenced last week was a pretty quick one. So we didn't get any recording of Coffee with Corey uh, down there. We were supposed to do some fishing, but as I came to find out, sometimes it gets really windy in Florida, just like it gets windy in South Dakota sometimes. It was a little too windy to get the boat out onto the bay and do any of fishing. But uh, that's, that's a trip for another time. And when, once I'm able to actually get out there and get some photos of me with some big old fish, I'm gonna share them with everybody here. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. <clears throat> Let's chat a little bit about some real estate stuff because after last week's episode, you know, I referenced all of the companies and one of the things that I referenced was the staging that we do through our furniture team. And Cindy actually sent me a message and said, Hey Corey, I'm getting ready to sell my house and I would love to have your team stage it when we, when we list it. How does that look? So I thought it would be a good idea to just go over the overview of, of, of what the steps are. The first step is having the house empty. Um, we only stage houses that are completely empty so that when we're bringing our furniture in and our accessories in, it can really just show like a furniture showroom. So the, uh, the next aspect, of course, is having it spotless clean. Um, when, when we bring all of our furniture in, once again, we want the home to show its best, and so having that property clean is, is essential. Once our owner has the home empty and professionally cleaned, that's when our stagers come through. They come through, they, they use a software app that allows them to select the furniture and the art and everything that they want to move in right while they're at the house. If the moving team happens to be in the, in the warehouse while the stagers are out at the property, they can even start pulling some of that furniture and getting it ready to roll. So that's really the next step is having the stagers go back to the warehouse. They're getting some of the items ready, moving teams getting some of the items ready, and then all those items get loaded into the moving truck. That generally happens the next day. Once all the items are loaded into the moving truck, obviously they get delivered to the home and that's when the staging team really works their magic. Putting all of it together, um, hanging all the art, and uh, setting out all the tchotchke, as they like to call it, and getting everything just right. Once all that is taken care of and ready to roll, they all step back, let the, our professional photographer do her thing, and that end product is what you see on the internet. And generally speaking, we've been pretty fortunate to have that lead to pretty quick sales. So we're really excited to share more staged homes with you. I'm maybe not supposed to tell you this, but a couple years ago, we did a, a grand um, tour of staged homes where we had a number of them on the market at one time and we made it a huge event. We're gonna do that again. Stay tuned. This, this event is gonna um, happen in September and it's even going to be a lot bigger than it was the last time because last time it was only in Sioux Falls and now that the experience is statewide the tour staged homes is going to be statewide don't shout it from the mountaintops yet there'll be a lot more uh, information on that to come but because I was talking about staging I couldn't resist letting you in on that thanks for joining me at coffee with Corey and I'll hope to see you next time